How to fix reshade not opening in 5M. Hello gamers, if reshade is not opening for you in 5M, don't worry, you're not alone. This is one of the most common issues players face when trying to enhance their 5M graphics. So in this video, I'll walk you through all the possible fixes for reshade not for working on 5M. Now, whether it's not launching, overlay not appearing, or errors at startup, by the end of this guide, reshade will be up and running and your 5M will look 10 or even 20 times better. So, firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to actually understand the issue at hand. So, why does reshade not open and what does it mean? So, the first and foremost thing is it could be that reshade menu does not open with the general home or shift plus f2 icon or it could mean no overlay appears in game or effects are not applying even though installed or 5m just crashes on the boot most of these issues are caused by incorrect file placement wrong rendering apis missing dll files or conflicts with anti-cheat so let's go step by step and fix it. So for this, what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to go ahead and first of all, verify our installation. So firstly, you're going to want to make sure that reshade is installed in the correct directory. So in this case, I installed reshade over here. I don't currently own 5M, but to just give you an example, you're going to open up 5M's location. So let's say this is my 5M location and generally over here, you should find this folder called reshade shaders. So if this is not in your general uh, 5M location, in that case, you will not get the proper INI files. And one more thing that you can do is go over to C folder. Once you come to the C folder, you're going to go over to users. You're going to go over to obviously your own user. Once you're over here, go over to app data, go to local. Now over here, you're going to search for 5M and generally your 5M should have the reshade.ini, the dxgi.dll and a lot of more things because if it does not contain that, then in that case, you have not correctly downloaded your reshade and all you're going to need to do is just add those reshade shaders in this folder because if these files are not there reshade is not going to load properly even if they're in gta5 directory or another folder that is the problem okay so just add it to your 5m and you're good to go now the second step would be to select the correct rendering api now when you're actually installing reshade so if I come over to reshade setup, let's say I'm going to go with this game. This is a very important step, okay? Because what most people do is they choose a random rendering API. Now, usually what 5M uses is DirectX 10, 11, 12. If you accidentally picked anything like OpenGL or Vulkan or even OpenXR, the overlay won't appear because you chose the wrong API. So rerun the reshade installer, make sure to choose the 10, 11, 12 direct X, and then uh, go ahead and install it. And in that case, it should work because now the overlay has been activated. Now, sometimes reshade also needs elevated permissions to inject properly. So in that case, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and run the application what as a administrator so you come here right click it and click on run as administrator now what that does is it will give it elevated permissions to inject properly also check if your antivirus or firewall is blocking your reshade so to fix that you can add it to your whitelist or allowed apps if it's truly needed if it's still not working let's do a clean reinstall so what you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead to your folders. As I told you, you go to C, you go to users, you go to your account, you go to app data, go to local, 
and then you go over to your 5M folder. If the apps of DXGI.dll, Reshade, and Reshade shaders are here, simply go ahead and delete them. Okay, remove them from your PC, re-download Reshade from their website, and reinstall it into the correct folder with DirectX 11 or 10 selected. And after that, launch 5M and press home once loaded in. So after all of that, it should generally work. Now, some 5M servers also block reshade. So obviously keep that in mind as well, because if they do block reshade, in that case, it makes sense why you keep crashing especially competitive P PVP or serious RP communities, they will not let you use Reshade. So try joining an empty or test server to see if Reshade actually works. If it works there, then your main server has anti-cheat restrictions. In this case, what you can do is ask server admins if Reshade is allowed, and you can use a renamed dxgi.dll to bypass but do make sure to use that cautiously because you might get banned. Now, the final thing would be the hotkey conflicts and config fix. Sometimes the overlay doesn't show because the hotkey is basically remapped to something different. So what you do in that case is you open your reshade INI and check the key overlay. So you go over to your reshade INI folder, okay? Or if you don't find it, you can simply search it up over here. Reshade.ini. Okay. Generally, you should find it pretty easily in your PC. And you should make sure to keep the overlay at 36, 0, 0. Now, 36 will basically change it to another key if needed, like 113 for F2. Save and relaunch it. And also make sure your in-game overlay isn't disabled in 5M settings. Don't use any overlay complex shaders like RTGI until basic ones load up for you. Also, keep your graphic drivers totally updated because that's one of the most crucial things when it comes to reshade and 5M. So once your graphic drivers are totally updated, also make sure to avoid using multiple graphic mods alongside reshade. The reason for that is because it can easily crash 5M for you. Go ahead and also test with a basic preset first before adding more shaders for yourself. And once you have done all of that, there you go. That is how you're going to go ahead and fix reshade when it's not opening in 5M. Now, if this video helped you out, please do make sure to drop down a like and share it with your crew. And let me know in the comments which shader is your favorite to use. And thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.